Australopithecus afarensis, commonly known as Lucy, was found in Ethiopia, Africa, and is thought to have lived 3 to 3.9 million years ago. The skull and jaws of afarensis is ape-like, comparable to that of a chimpanzee, and the brain size is 375 to 540 cubic centimetres. The rib cage of afarensis is shaped like a cone, as in other apes. Humans, by contrast, have a barrel-shaped rib cage. Afarensis was also quite heavily built, like other apes. Its legs are shorter than the arms, which is distinctly ape-like and not human-like. The shoulder blade socket was facing much more towards the sky than it does in humans, meaning Afarensis was built for climbing trees. Many apes have curved fingers to help gripping while climbing trees. Afarensis had these curved fingers and toes. The fingers are also designed for walking on knuckles, like other apes do. Some evolutionists have claimed that this knuckle walking feature is useless and didn't work. But why think that? Seems contrary to the evidence, does it not? The main reason Afarensis is thought to be transitional between humans and the great apes is because it walked upright. Or so they say. The main thing to take away here is this. Afarensis would have to walk upright habitually, all the time, for it to be considered transitional. Why? Well, other non-transitional apes today walk upright, but not habitually. So it wouldn't matter if Afarensis was capable of non-habitual bipedalism, walking upright. Creationists say that limited bipedalism, like that in Afarensis, was part of the original potential in the gene pool of these creatures. Always remember this, even if one day we find the perfect transitional fossil, the perfect ape man, that wouldn't mean evolution is true. Evolution wouldn't be confirmed by the facts, rather it would be consistent with the facts. The theory of evolution cannot in any logical way be considered true if we find transitional fossils. Neither can transitional fossils be evidence for evolution. It's logically fallacious. Thank you.